guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I am trying to get a lot done around the house. We have our party just around the corner and I have like a whole bunch of things that not necessarily are party related, but I want to get done before the party. So, got my list here. I One funny thing that I got from a friend when I was like in high school and early college was when you're making a to-do list, make their first thing as like make or finish to-do list. That way you can check something off when you are like done making your list. It, it just feels good to like start off with a check. But today I'm hoping if, if I don't get it done today, maybe Juan can do it tomorrow, but cutting and edging the lawn because our party is gonna be on Sunday. Um, I have to erase this whiteboard and make and create an image um, to put on there. I could hand draw it, but I think the amount of time it would take for me to try to draw something that I would like, I might as well just spend that same amount of time making something on my Cricut and having it just look perfect. So what I did was I took a picture of the cars featured in our little party prep supplies. Sorry if my kids are really loud in the background, but anyways. So I took a picture of one of our decorations and so there's the little picture I took. And then I just kind of like dimmed it down and traced around the edges so that now I have a little car image that matches the decorations that I have. So I'm hoping this will, I'm hoping I chose the right settings and then I can cut it out on my Cricut later and stick it on my whiteboard. My kids are so loud. I have to say I'm loving the fact that they are playing together at this stage, but it can just get really loud in here. So anyways, I'll be cutting that out hopefully later today. Also, I need to assemble my cake. So I'm doing like a fun like checkerboard design. Every birthday I like to try something new. And this time it's not so much an outside decoration as it is an inside decoration for the cake. So that's what I have to get done. I have to also make the chocolate frosting that goes with that cake. So I have to go get butter from my freezer so it starts defrosting this morning before I get to it later. We are gonna be going to Costco, so I'll show you guys a little haul. I'm not planning on getting much, so I just need fruits. I'm hoping for like our car party to do three bowls of fruits that look like a stoplight. So like some type of red berry, pineapple, green grapes, and I think that would just kind of be cute and then people can get what they like. Um, I have like a new pen organizer that I want to organize Aubrey's like markers and stuff for her schoolwork. That way, I don't know, our system right now is just kind of, oh my gosh, they are so loud. Our system right now is just kind of like crazy and random. So got to organize that. I have some like new balloon columns that I want to do. That'll again be in like a party prep video, but I will show you guys definitely the final results if not setting it up today. I have like almost two dozen eggs that I've collected from our hens that I need to wash. They have just been sitting on my counter, uh, which is okay, don't worry, <laughs> but I need to wash them and get them in the fridge. I want to clean and organize like my diaper bag, purses, things like that. If I get to it, it'd be great if I could clean the fridge at some point, but I don't think I'm getting to that today. Um, I did fill up some snackle boxes, so I'll, I'll insert little clips um, after this is done of me making them and assembling them, but I just, I love them. I think the kids like it too. Um, it kind of encourages them, encourages them to like eat a bunch of different things rather than me offering one large portion of something. And the last two things I put on my list are make dinner, which I think I'm gonna do something Italian, maybe my chicken parm or garlic bites or something like that, maybe both. And I gotta get these dishes away. So let's get these dishes away actually while the kids are still playing and then we will head to Costco. Mm -hmm.
So like I mentioned, I actually made these little snackle boxes a while ago. I came up with the little labels. I bought this organizer case from the Dollar Tree, or two of them actually, one for Jack and one for Aubrey. And I just cut out their names and stuck it on these little organizers. And the idea is that each little you know, component or section of this organizer could get a different to a little snack. So you're going to see a lot of like carbs in the one that I packed, but I was just, you know, working with what I had at home and wanted my kids to have a variety of snacks to choose from, you know, as we go about our day. Okay, so a quick parking lot haul. These containers were on sale and I kind of needed more for Aubrey's sensory stuff and toy storage. We got some bananas for the kids and then for the party, two pineapples. I'm really hoping that they're sweet enough. They don't really smell very sweet on the bottom and I was looking for a really long time. Green grapes, two things of strawberries, some cream cheese. The kids love these teriyaki bowls and some protein shakes for me, and then a gift for my sister-in-law. So, there's our little haul. All right, we're loaded in the car. Bubby's buckled with his banana. Aubrey, say hi. Hi, <laughs> um, So, across the street, there is a Panera, and I have like $3 off, I think is like the birthday gift they gave me this year. So I think I'm gonna just order something that's like $3 and go pick that up since we're in the area. And then I'm gonna head over to Starbucks and just pick up a drink. And something new that they've added, which I think is really cool, is you can pre-order like through the app, but you can say that you wanna use a personal cup. And by using a personal cup, you save 10 cents and you get 25 stars, which the way I order my drink is like a deconstructed macchiato and I used 25 stars for the shot of espresso. And so my drink comes out to 355 when you take off that dollar of using 25 stars. So I spend 25 stars to take a dollar off, but I also get back 25 stars for using my own cup and I save 10 cents. So I really think it's a good deal. And I'm so happy that I can order through the app instead of having to go in the store because when I have a car full of food and kids, I just want to go through like the drive through and pick it up, but you just hand them your cup and they make your drink in like a tumbler that they can rinse out and then just pour your drink in and then give it back to you. So that's what we're gonna go do and then get home and unload this little haul that I showed you guys. So it's been a little while since I checked in. Once we got home, I unloaded everything, put it away, got the kids like a teriyaki bowl, which they, you know, split one and consumed the entire thing. I love those things. I really like just eating them myself, but I love that the kids eat them and they have like veggies and stuff in there and the kids will eat it just because it's kind of like a grown up meal. Or I, don't, I really don't know. Maybe they just like the way it tastes too, just like their mommy. So they ate that and played a little bit and it is now two o'clock. Jack is still awake. He slept in this morning. I tried laying him down. He seemed to be getting cranky and a little tired. I pushed him on the swing, 
went into his room. Um, I like officially stopped nursing like a week ago. And so, oh, it's, it's a challenge for me to get him to bed now, like to nap. Like he'll go to bed at night and he'll, we'll leave the room when he's awake and he's usually okay. Nap time, if I don't get him to fall asleep, then a lot of the times he'll just stay up and play and then like want to fall asleep super early and I don't want that. So I don't know, today was a struggle to get him to like fall asleep in my arms. So he's quietly playing in his room and I'm just gonna consider this his nap time and hope that he, you know, doesn't like go and fall asleep at like 3.30 or something. Or like, you know, when I'm just about to go check on him, I hope he doesn't like decide then's the time to fall asleep for nap but I'll just get into bed early and then maybe that will give me time to like work on my cake and all that stuff in the evening. But I just got done cleaning our chickens like little watering thing. It usually gets super dirty and I try to like spray it with the hose to like kind of clean it off but I wanted to like really scrub this down with soap and water because it needed it. So I'm gonna put this in the backyard and then I'll probably just come back inside and do like the other indoor things that I wanted to get done, like my like whiteboards. That way I can like hear Jack and kind of keep an eye on him that way. And then when he's up from his nap, uh, we'll go outside and I'll do the grass and stuff then. So let's go put this back in the chicken coop and be productive. I'd like to thank Absonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this acrylic pen holder. It has six slots for arts and crafts supplies or if you wanna use it even for sauces in your fridge. It rotates 360 degrees and it also comes in clear. I have the gray option, but there is a clear option on Amazon. I mentioned you could store your sauces. I chose to use this for our crafting and artsy kind of supplies, but you could also use it to organize your makeup or other desk supplies at your office. I especially like that it has a handle. I think it makes carrying it a lot easier, especially since I don't always have this out and about for the kids. So whenever I need it, I can just easily grab it and bring it to the table when they want to do some coloring. Again, I'd like to thank Absonic for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this acrylic pen holder. If this seems like something that you could use, I will go ahead and put the link to the product down below in the description box for your convenience. So after I was done organizing Aubrey's markers and crafting supplies, I did try to make more progress on my whiteboard design, but I could hear that Jack was kind of over playing quietly in his room and he really just needed to come out. So I decided to head on out in the backyard, get the kids out and exerting even more energy to hopefully fall asleep early. And I started off by mowing the lawn and then I will get to edging and, you know, cleaning up the sidewalk as well. So I will touch on this in this video, but I'll do a little bit more thorough updates of our backyard. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of pouring our grass out on this designated path that the kids kind of run up and down just to kind of fill it in and make it a little bit more flat rather than areas having craters and stuff. So I'm filling it in with some grass and, you know, I might go in with some dirt later on and really just try to pack it down. And I was able to cut that whole back part of our yard without having to empty out the lawnmower more than once. Um, sometimes when it's greener and the grass isn't in its dormant stage, I have to empty out the lawnmower like a few times for that backyard and then again once or twice for the side yard.
before I continue to fill in the little walkway, I'm making sure the chickens get some grass and then I will be finishing up, you know, as best as I can do, kind of leveling out this walkway. And while I'm doing this, you can see the kids are going wild on our slope. It does give me so much anxiety when I have like Jack up there. I am just so afraid he is going to fall down and crack his head open on our bricks. But I try to, you know, leave that to God. Like I'm doing the best I can at keeping him safe given, you know, the, all of our circumstances. And I know that if something bad happened, it would probably be like a freak accident. I'm trying to also remember that as a little kid, you know, I felt like I had more control over my body. Jack is pretty athletic, so I'm just trying to let that go. But that is on my mind whenever I am like outside with the kids and trying to get stuff done, but also trying to pay close attention to what the kids are up to. So all this mulch that you see like on our sidewalk is really from whenever we let the chickens free range. And since we are having a party, I'm cleaning it up and we will not be letting the chickens free range until after the party for sure so that they don't make another mess for me to have to deal with. So the yard is now done. I am like checking that off my list. Juan, in preparation for the party at least, will like pressure wash our cement because he likes it looking clean before guests come. So he'll be doing that, I don't know when. He came home, brought some McDonald's, so I don't have to make dinner anymore, which is nice. Uh, so right now, while Juan is with Jack and Aubrey's resting or in her room playing or something, I'm gonna finish the whiteboard. <laughs> As you guys can see, I don't ever like just get one task done like all at once. Sometimes it is chopped up throughout the day. So I think I'm gonna finish my Cricut like cutting and all of that stuff because I got it like almost all the way set up before, get that done and then maybe start working on the cake decorating. So now that the glass board is completed, thank goodness, I'm moving on to dealing with the chocolate buttercream that I wanna make for the birthday cake. I did take out four sticks of butter and only needed two and a half for the recipe, 
but I figured since I had a stick and a half that was still soft, I could go ahead and put it in my little like butter jar that's on the counter so that I could have room temperature butter whenever I needed it. And then I moved on to making the frosting. So I had previously made the chocolate and vanilla cakes and I will be showing, you know, making them in my party prep video, but I had them frozen, took them out, was ready to work with them. And like I mentioned, I am doing like a different design where, you know, when you cut into the cake, you're actually going to see a checkerboard. So you'll see a little bit more details maybe in my party prep, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse at what my evening was like. Then once I finished my crumb coat for the birthday cake, I decided that since I had leftover buttercream as well as some chocolate layers of cake, that I would go ahead and assemble just like a little mini, you know, triple chocolate or whatever cake for my brother-in-law. His birthday is also this month and we were planning on seeing Juan's family the next day. So I was just like, you know what, let me whip up a little cake for them to enjoy and I'm so glad that I have these little boxes as well. After I did that, I actually moved on and worked on some more party stuff. I designed a little kind of image search worksheet that I have done, something similar at another party, and I thought it was fun, so I just kind of whipped that up. I'll share more about this like in my party prep, but again, this is a part of my evening where I am still trying to be productive. And then something that you guys didn't see, I did start a load of dishes in the dishwasher, which meant my water was nice and warm, so it was the perfect time to go ahead and wash my eggs, wash off any of the grossness that kind of sticks to them sometimes when they're in the nesting box, and get these in my fridge.
Okay guys, it has been a while since I checked in. It's super late, I'm exhausted. I managed to actually get almost everything on my list done. There's just two things that I didn't do that I had written down, not a big deal. Organize my like diaper bag or purse. I can, I've managed to deal with them the way that they are for the last couple of weeks. So I'm pretty sure I can handle another couple of days. And then the only other thing was to set up some balloon columns. And, uh, you know, it was just kind of like too loud. We were like, kids were watching like a movie with Juan and I just didn't want to like disturb everyone with blowing up a bunch of balloons. So I'm just going to hold off on that for tomorrow. I did manage to get some other things on my list done. So as you guys saw, like I made these cute little like image search pages for the party and I'll mention you know like how I did it like in my party prep but uh, it's really easy and I think it'll be like a fun thing for people to do if they just want to like pass the time um, or if they're bored I don't know <laughs> but I, I mean I had fun like making it and then I didn't even know like what the answers were so I had to go ahead and make my own key but you know, I got other things done that weren't on my list. So I really feel like I'm proud of myself. I had a very productive day. I don't even remember if I mentioned it, but like I woke up really early this morning. I did a workout, I showered, and then I like checked in with all of you guys. So, you know, it's been a very long, long day. But I am thankful that you guys joined along and you know accompanied me as I was getting all this done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, just checking out my channel for the first time, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.